and the brother of Jason. He has two children, Aubrey and Jalen Bohannon. He loves them more than life. Joshua went missing on June 3rd, 2021. On June 4th, something life transforming had happened to us. We realized Joshua was really missing. Ordinary words fail us, yet it is impossible to stay silent. So thoughts of outreach as we assemble together. So when we light the candles, we live, have so many emotions. We have grief, sadness, and we feel lost. We are angry, rage, but our main goal is to find Josh. Joshua is a diabetic and is very sick. He would never just walk off the face of this earth. Joshua needed his family and depended on us, and we were always there, and we will always be here. I am Josh's voice, and I will continue to be his voice till the day I die, until I find him. It took a village for Joshua, and he had a village. Joshua, he would have called his family no matter what. He would have called his mom, his brother, me. He knew that we would come to him. Joshua has a really good heart, and he just wanted to be accepted and loved by everybody. Just like we all do. He loves cracking jokes, and he would push your buttons. He really would. At the same time that he was cracking jokes with you, he loved the Tennessee Vols and he loved to play basketball with his brother, Jason. Wherever you seen one, you seen both. Jason and Josh had a bond like no other. He loves his parents more than anything and they never done any wrong in his eyes. Today we choose in the light of what the candle means to take another hand, lift another's burden, or simply acknowledge another's worth. To acknowledge the missing and acknowledge that we all love Joshua Brian Bohannon. I would also like to say a word in the missing of other people in this area. Joshua Brian Bohannon went missing on June 3rd, 2021. Caitlin Ledbetter, he went miss, she went missing in Overton County on May 2nd, 2021. Christy and Henry Wilson, they both went missing on May 2018. Waylon Kirby, he went missing on September of 2015. None of these people have been found. And we need to bring awareness to Putnam County that these people matter. They have a family. They have a mama, a daddy, a brother, a sister that love them just like no other. And it, when Josh went missing, it took us two weeks to get a search. And they never found anything. But they did do, they did do the dogs, they did do the drones, and they did do the helicopters. But we... To me, they waited too late. They should have done the search within when we went and filed the missing report, but I don't understand the logistics of finding a missing person or what their protocol is. But then they did another search and there was only four people there and it was done before nine o'clock in the morning. When we got there, they said it was over. So I don't know how long you could search with four people before nine o'clock in the morning. And he may have had his faults, but he was human. He was loved. Just like everybody else, if it was your kid, you'd want them found too. And that's all I got to say. If anybody else wants to say anything, you can. You good? All right. We love y'all. Josh would be just smiling down knowing that this many people showed up for him. He really thought that nobody cared about him or loved him. He just wanted to be accepted. And he would be just smiling from ear to ear if he knew all this. But thank y'all all for coming and we love you.